Dames en heren, voor de vierde wedstrijd van vanavond zal ik heel graag aan u voor uit Mechelen, België. Winnaar van de Belgium National Championships 2014. Hij schakelde gisteren Ron Meulenkamp uit met 6 tegen 5 na een fantastische wedstrijd. Handen op elkaar voor de real deal. Mike de Dekker. De nummer 1 van de wereld en drievoudig champion of the world, Mighty Michael van Kerwe. We're here in Hasselt at the Belgian Darts Championship. We are seeing the top three players in the world in action, back to back to back. Comfortable wins for Gerwin Price, the world number three, and the world champion and world number two, Peter Snakebite Wright. But neither of them turning it on, neither of them averaging, even getting to 92 in the averages list. Can the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, turn it on here tonight? If he does, it will disappoint this sellout crowd here at the Etias Arena in Hasselt because they'll be cheering on their man, the first Belgian we get to see in action tonight. Mike Dedecker playing the best stuff we've seen from him in his career, the real deal. Stepping up to the tour. And something has changed. He's slightly changed his equipment. He's doing Thank more practice with Jim Hybrex. Mike to throw first, game on. He has never beaten Michael Van Gerwen before. He's already had one go at him this year and he came close, only lost 6-4. Can he do it here in his home country and produce an Good enormous night. shot? The number two CD in white has already been knocked out. Will the number one follow? Paul Nicholson alongside me, Dan Dawson. That mighty Mike versus the real deal. 41. Yeah, Mike De Decker tonight looking to be more Evander Holyfield than David Dickinson when it comes to the hmm. real deal. But... 57. With Mike, he, he throws a very long barrel and quite a short stem and the 
the darts going very upright. 104 so there. You will see his darts wobble a little bit in the board. I just question as to whether he might want to take two or three mil off the barrel just to make oh, the dart a bit more balanced. Well, well, that's just my own personal opinion. The changes he's made, he told me this morning that he's had a slightly longer point and a slightly shorter Who stem. So you hey. would think that's going to change the balance of the dart. And it may be. That's why they are sticking up in the board, perhaps a little bit more than we're used to. But then again, he has been hitting 40. an extraordinary number of 180s in the first six events on the Pro Tour this year. Yeah, the shorter stem, it, it's going to make the dart travel faster. Yeah. There's going to be less stability in the air. So you've got to throw every dart really well. I've got a lot of admiration for guys who can throw short stems, because I can't. Safety. He's still got quite a big flight or a standard size flight on there, so that gives it some stability. But these just tiny One little tweaks can change how the darts fly, and you're only looking at marginal gains to turn yourself from a, a guy who's competitive to a guy who can win multiple matches in a row. 140. Good setup shot from the Decker. Leaves himself on 52. Van Gerwen will get two darts for the leg. For the but he does not take Van either. Van Gerwen 52. We weren't particularly close on this occasion, and De Decker is going to go for the tops option. Yeah, shot the first option, leg. which he Mark takes. Second leg is Michael to throw first. Game on. And he mentioned yesterday, Dan, that De Decker's got this lovely 93. ability to get the points so close together. Well, maybe that's one of the reasons why he's so high up on the 180 average list. Yeah, I mean, look, he, he has been unfortunate. He's been playing some very good darts, and he's been losing tight games to players throwing big averages against him. 59. But in the games that he has played on the Pro Tour, only Devin Peterson is hitting 180s more regularly. It's kind of weird that he only hit one in his first round win against Ron Muhlenkamp, which itself is a good win. When it's 6-5, only hit one maximum, but it came to set up double 12 in the last leg decider. It was a perfect 180. Supreme timing from the real deal. Do you see the reaction from him as well when he won that match? 56. That's what I want to see when you're playing in front of your home crowd. Show a bit of passion. 95. Well, there's not a great deal between them in the opening exchanges of this. MVG. He's top of the Premier League after winning on Thursday night in Dublin. It was a 7-4 win against uh, a very difficult customer in Willie O'Connor, but hang about. There's the first 180 for Mike De Decker, and a very well-timed one at that. The 152 is not going to go. 134. Mike Uruguay, 71. Should get a shot. What's it going to be at, though? He's got 18 of them. That's okay. That's a good miss. Because now he's got one at a double, not the bullseye. 51. Just dips Mike Uruguay, that 18. One. Van Gerwen didn't want double nine, but he's got it. Yeah, shot the second leg. Michael Van Gerwen. Third leg is Mike to throw first. Well, Game is on. good. But I'm, wonder, I'm, wonder, I'm wondering why he went 1 3 4 leave double, double nine. It's a. 93. It's a strange one, that one, but it worked out for Michael Van Gerwen. He is not a man who likes his authority being questioned. He has dominated, the, European tour. He has dominated the world of darts for half a decade. Every time somebody has been playing well enough to be put in the discussion, are you the best player Four on the eight. planet, Michael Van Gerwen has made it his business to point out that they are not. And he's done it by winning multiple titles over and over and over again oh, with enormous averages and breaking records at the minute we've got two players who you can genuinely put up there with MVG and make a case for them being better than him at the moment and Van Gerwen I'm sure he doesn't like it I had to ask the question of him on Thursday night now he is immediate I know exactly what he's going to say of course I'm the best player in the world 100% but these guys are playing on confidence I'm battling I'm fighting Imagine what I'm going to be like when I get the confidence back. Well, you say that sometimes players are grinding. Well, Michael's doing oh, that in more ways than one. He's grinding on the dartboard, but he's gradually grinding those darts into a nice state of used 
which is what he wants. 136. He's not playing poorly. No, he is, and that's the thing. And look, he's already at a nine data this year. He hasn't won a title, obviously. That's been talked about a lot, and, and it should be. But he's not far off. 32. And the Euro Tour might well be the place for him to start this year. That's a 13 data to go into the lead. Game on. Well, the Decker's looking to do a Watford. Because, let's face it, Van Gerwen is the Liverpool of darts right now. 100. And the Decker's not going to be 3-0 up. But he'd love to be getting six chalk marks. And putting his way to the next round to play against Michael Smith, who played quite well today. Yeah, he was very good. More than 103 average and 6-1. Victory over Ronnie Hybrex. MDG. His first 180. The deck is second, and you can see with just the way he constructed that visit how he's been hitting so many of them so far this year. Oh, it is Remember when a player stays still on the third dart, and we've got two in there, there's no walking forward. He stayed perfectly still, and even before oh, he threw it, his body position was so good that he just was going to hit it. Now, will he get a shot at the ball? He won't. The decker should equalize. It is. Low again. Wide on the double ten. Mike De Decker misses two darts there. He missed a dart in the second leg. These are chances that you need to take against the best player on the planet. Double four. Oh, nudge the first one, and the crowd loved the fact that he missed it. Are they going to get involved now? They've been fairly quiet up to this point. If the Decker can take care of 20, I think they will start playing their part. Great back immediately by call for De Decker. Well, this is the thing. Look. Obviously, these guys who've turned up tonight, they're darts fans. They at least have a passing interest in darts. Might be their first time at the darts. We've not had a Euro Tour here before, of course. Hello. It's the 180 hitting Mike De Decker who's turned up tonight. He wasn't around in round one, but he's here tonight. And that gives him a chance. 43. But they might, they'll look at this and go, well, Michael Van Gerwen, I know him, he's the world number one. Mike De Decker, he might be our guy. But it's still, I mean, he, he's, he, surely the, the likelihood is he'll get obliterated by Mighty Mike. But they don't know, probably, unless they're Anoraks who've been watching all the Pro Tour stuff week in, week out. Unless, even if they have, they won't have seen many of Mike Decker's games because he's been unfortunate with the draws. But he's been playing really well. That's the thing. They might not know that this could be the best opportunity Mike Decker's ever had of beating Michael Van Gerwen. Because that's what this is tonight when you look at his form at the moment. Van Gerwen sensibly oh, from 319, but doesn't make many in the way of mathematical errors or tactical errors, but De Decker still has six darts from 164, 64. which he squares off to a ton, sensibly, leaves the two darter. Oh, what a setup! What a setup! It is perfect from MBG to leave tops, but this could be done and dusted in two darts. Oh, he's got to go top stop surely oh. it was neither here it wasn't there i'm not sure what it was but that dart was so upright I underneath the 60. i don't even think you can see tops yes, on the fifth leg. Oh, three consecutive breaks of throw and the world Sixth number one does Michael reassert himself in this one on. yeah grimace from Dedeka. there are there are bad darts and then there are just horrendous ones and that was the latter. Safety. Was in a good position there, but that 180 from Van Gerwen changed that leg completely. If he only hits a ton there, me. for instance, it's a totally different leg. De Decker probably doesn't go tops tops. He might go 16s and Van Gerwen seems to be turning the screw now. Six 180s in this match, we're only in the sixth leg. 100. 
You're a fan of that Van Gogh and uh, social media ad, aren't you? Where he honked the horn. Oh, yeah. Do you know where he buys his trucks? Oh. It'll tell you. I can't remember. It's something <laughs> like I buy trucks.com or something. The little. <laughs> yeah, that was great fun. That definitely made my idea when I saw that. Hey, look, you, you may say that it's ridiculous for the standard bearer of this game to be honking kiddies' toys, but if somebody comes and offers you a truckload of money, I'll do whatever you like, pal. Oh, well, Taylor was a, a ladder company, wasn't he? Absolutely. Well, with the Water Podium ladder, it really does feel like you're standing on the ground. It's the unique tow guard that does it, but... I digress, because Mike Dedeka has pinned that treble 19 again. He's hit loads of those in this game. Can MVG hit tops? Yes. He can, yes. and he does, and he opens up a two-leg gap. Two and Michael Mike Van Gerwen is getting a stranglehold on this game. He is being forced to play well here. The average is up towards a ton. It is better than what we've seen from the two pretenders, the man who wants his title of best player in the world at the moment. Price, yes, it was a comfortable win, but it wasn't devastating. Peter Wright, another comfortable win, but nowhere near his brilliant best. You've seen more of Michael Van Gerwen this year than probably any other analyst. Hey, if you want it. Do you get the feeling with this performance tonight that he's that confidence has just jacked up another percentage? Just with some of the shots that he's taken out, Ooh, he looks really assured to me. Oh. And there you go, there's a 174 just to process that again. Well, you know what, we've said it many times when players change equipment, 45. but it's not necessarily, they can go up there and smash in 180s and treble 20s over and over again, hit big averages. 100. It's often the finishing, it's how comfortable you are in those pressure situations. There's no doubt then that Michael Van Gerwen, and we've seen him do it on the Pro Tour already this year, can go up there and average 107 and make it look child's so play. We know that. So when he's put under pressure, is that, can he rely on this equipment just yet? He needs to do the stuff that he's been doing the for the last 10 years with these new darts and then he will there feel he confident and Michael this is the sort of stuff Game he puts him under pressure and he knows that those shots those 98 checkouts those 180 setup shots to leave tops under pressure that he can pull them out the bag and then the equipment it just it doesn't even matter anymore Christopher Tyski took two Fair weekends percent. to get used to his new darts it's not taking long but Michael Van Gerwen is judged by different standards because whenever there's even a chink in the armor Everybody starts talking about it, quite rightly so. But it does mean that he faces those questions, and that in itself is a bit of a distraction. Do you know what he did with his all No, I don't. Actually. Well, if he wins this tournament and we do an interview with him at the end, that's my question to him. Because those darts that he used have won so many titles, Four they're about as precious in world sport as Ben Hogan's one iron from the 1950 US Open. Those three arrows, I would. I would, I'm 99% certain those those three oh, individual darts will have won more money in this in this sport than any other set. Correct. Taylor chopped and changed, obviously, but Van Gerwen has been oh, using those for oh, years yeah. and years and years, and he's already won what, eight million pounds in prize money, as well as lots of non-ranking stuff. So, look, that is they are the most successful darts in the world in terms of money won. Seventy-seven. Need to be in a museum, that's where they need to be. No, oh, I did not. Well, MVG will be thinking 140 and 36, and job done, and pray for a miss from the decker. It's not going to happen. Maybe he's 45. thinking about the next leg. Mike Rewire, 80. He's visibly upset with not getting the job done 6 2. Yes. Tens for the decker. Yes. Yeah, lovely yeah. clean up job. Nice leg. And a little shrug of the shoulders. As if to say, it's been a while since I've had a shot at a double. Well, it hasn't really been his fault. He's broken the Van Gerwen throw twice in this game. Hold the throw here, and it's 5-4. There's only one leg in it. It's not dissimilar to the match they played on the Pro yeah, Tour earlier on this year, where Van Gerwen did win 6-4, did have his throw broken a couple of times, and Dedeka was close, and a couple of legs he lost. Well, but here we go. MVG, 4 one a 174, a 171. Proper stuff. If you offered two breaks of throw to Mike Dedeka, do you think he would realistically no, think he'd beat him from that position? Well, yeah, I mean, with anybody else, probably. But with MVG, possibly not. Ooh. Oh, he's already hit a nine darter this year using his new arrows. What if he hits his first one on stage? 
that would be another one to tick off the list. That would be another step towards yeah, Mighty that, Mike, Mike Lee, well, resuming well, his place as the well, well. dominant force in world darts. Can he do it? To win the game, it's double 12. Oh! And you can see the disappointment in the face. He expected to hit it. I didn't even raise my voice because I was waiting for that moment. And everybody here expected him to hit it too. The Decker with a wry smile. Can't do anything about it. From 267 behind. But Van Gogh will return to end this game, I feel. Well, even this packed Mike out Belgian crowd who've been cheering for De Decker were on their feet for MVG. Who narrowly misses the nine. No score. And misses it three more times. But he will be back. We saw a nine dart on Thursday night. We've just seen one missed here. He can laugh about it because he's in a position to do so. But this has been another display where you feel like Michael Van Gerwen is getting back to fully firing. Wow. And the Euro Tour was always a great Michael opportunity for him to do that. Game shot. And he seals it on double 12 eventually. He nearly completed the match with a perfect nine dart leg. But in the end, it's a 6-3 win for Mighty Mike. It's just a shrug of the shoulders from Mike Dedecker. He is playing well at the minute. Hopefully he can carry that on. But Michael Van Gerwen, for the last five years, has reached the final at least in every single Euro Tour event, the first one of the year. He's won the majority of them. He is on course to carry on that record. It is a mouth-watering clash with Michael Smith for MVG tomorrow afternoon. Michael van Gerwen. Score was geen probleem. De dubbels die begonnen ook lekker te vallen. En dan bijna de 39. Wat gaat er door je heen? Ja, op dat moment baai natuurlijk. Hey. Kom op, Derker. Hey. Mike, Mike. Nee, het is natuurlijk. Mike, Mike is natuurlijk een fantastisch talent. En uh, dat weet iedereen. Alleen ik zeg net ook tegen hem. Gebruik je talent nou eens. Hij denkt altijd heel veel na. En het is een fantastische dag om tegen te spelen. Het is een, een hele goede scorer. Maar ja, om dan hier tegen hem te spelen. Dat maakt het natuurlijk niet makkelijk voor jezelf. Ik maak me eigenlijk een beetje onnodig moeilijk in het begin. Ik mis de twee legs die hij wint. Al twee de legs, twee pijlen. En dan wil je de pub het publiek iets teruggeven. Negen dat en Ja, dan baal ik natuurlijk dat ik dat niet kan doen. Maar uh, ik, ik heb zeker genoten. We zijn hier heel ver over de grens. En... Uh, ik wil jullie allemaal heel erg bedanken. Het was echt, ja, ik, ik heb genoten. Ik denk dat iedereen heeft genoten in Hasselt. Hasselt, hebben jullie genoten? Morgen tegen Michael Smith. Met een geweldige average vandaag. De 103, als ik me niet vergis. Zien we dezelfde Michael van Gerwen morgen? Ja, natuurlijk kunnen jullie dezelfde Michael zien. En ik wil jullie nog meer horen morgen. Een beetje gas erop, hè? Dat kunnen jullie toch? Dames en heren, laat jullie horen voor Michael van Gerwen! <laughs> Dames en heren. Ik ga jullie nog een wedstrijd aankondigen van dadelijk. Jeffrey de Zwaan tegen onze Kim Huibrechts. Dames en heren, ik wil jullie dadelijk horen voor die wedstrijd. Even goed als net. Dames en heren, hartelijk applaus. Mighty Michael van Gerwen. 